Please, I want to use this opportunity to beg everybody. Please, I need your help and I need your support. Since four months now, I'm being sick. Uh, Thai Lord, Thai Lord, the thing they disturbed me since four months now, till now. And I don't spend money for this thing. He gets some test where they request that I will do. And they say if I do this test, then go know whether or not I go take drug, I go take medicine, or then go do me operation. You know, Thai Lord, they're different types. The one where they do me is inside, not outside. And that this is four months I've been spending money going to one hospital to other, traveling to one state to see doctor and they have been trying. I've been spending a lot of money. I have spent a lot of money. I have spent a lot of money in this health challenge. Please, I want to beg everybody to help me. I need the support so that I can do all the things that I will do. Please, I really need support. I don't spend all my money. Please. I dare call everyone to help me. Please. The hospital where I did before, uh, the doctor, no be doctor where they treat heart and the thyroid. But I don't did that. I don't receive treatment there. I don't, you know, say what thing happened to some, some doctors and some people. They know say this is not be their work. They would like to treat that person, I don't know. But in a letter, people come to let me to a doctor where they in a letter where people that let me the doctor where they treat heart and the thyroid. So now the doctor where I meet now. He requested that I will do many labs. After I do the lab, they will know say whether they will do me operation or they are we I will taking drugs. Since four months now, till now, I know they go work. No only one place where they did. They think, you know, they, they think they disturb me. They think they disturb me too much. So please, I really need your help and your support, please. I really need your support. I beg everybody, please, support me and help me. And I want you people to be putting me in your prayers. Thank you and God bless you. I'm still your brother, Evangelist, Ibibi Joseph, Ezagba. Shalom. Yeah, my people, have you seen it? This is one of the greatest evidence of what I'm telling you. That everything about Christianity and Nigeria pastors are criminality. They are just threatening your life. The day that Nigeria Christians in the name of Jesus will kill you, you will be buried. There are so many of our people who are dying under my NGO, which lead me to continue clamoring for your good and the good of your unborn children. The day it will happen to you, you will see yourself as a vagabond. You will be forgotten. This is the evangelist Joseph. Joseph has been attacking me on social media in daily basis. He has caused me, he has called me a lot of names. Just because I'm trying to save him. Just because of the love I have for my people. Just because of the love I have for him and his unborn children. When I had a problem with Jeremiah Motofo for you, when I told Jeremiah Jeremiah Motofo for you that what he's performing is fake miracle, that he should stop it. That he should take those in his member to hospital. That everything he's doing there is no miracle healing is fake. When a motor say he will invite police to arrest me, instead of inviting Jesus to arrest me, Holy Spirit. Joseph came out and did a video support your motor to arrest me. Telling the whole world that I'm a sending man of God. Who is man of God? Who is man of God in Nigeria? Bunch of criminals in Nigeria deceiving people. Which you joined, now Tyrod have hit you. Do you know how many people we have, we have saved from Tyrod? A lot of surgery we have done. Then when I come out to pray that there is a sickness called Tyrod, that your church is supposed to be on standby, should get any member of the church had a sickness like that, to take the person to the hospital. Evangelist uh, Bube, Joseph, you came out to call me names, to curse me, insult me, Condemn me. Why I'm fighting for your good. Now the sickness have hit you. 
You told the whole world that I'm lying, that Jesus healed the. You started quoting Bible in order to insult me. Your brother that loves you, that I want you to leave. Now the sickness have hit you. You now came out to beg the public, in which I am begging the church to introduce the sequence to the public so that the public will contribute more and take them to the hospital. And you guys said, no, that Jesus is the, is the healer. Now you need our support. You need public funds. It shall never be well with you, Nigeria pastors and reverend fathers. It shall never. shall never. shall never. And the type of sickness you have is a very critical case. <laughs> In a thyroid. Look at your face. It's swelling up. <laughs> Look at your face. It's swelling up. Do do fast. In time of chair, don't I told them. <laughs> when they took chair, don't want to get on back up. Mbaka had raw boy, do that balaba. I told them, say, Chie, do money had leukemia. All they need to do is to remove all the whole blood in his body and transfuse another blood, then he will be made whole. And they cannot do it here in Nigeria. And if case not taken, if they waste it, any single time, Chie, do will be a dead person. Chine, do die, the two of us. They are still planning on how to get NIA and the international passport. Chine, do they gave up. TB Joshua died like a fowl. Like a chicken. What killed TB Joshua cannot kill any dog today in Europe that gave you Bible and Jesus. Heart attack. The cardiac arrest that happened to TB Joshua cannot kill any dog today, any pigeon in Europe. Because they have the facility to kick the heart back immediately and the heart will start working. One of our brothers in Malaysia had the same cardiac arrest in Malaysia. And they called ambulance. The emergency asked them, what is the problem? They explained the type of the sickness, the problem that they have brother. They raised their helicopter. They flew with the helicopter. Sustained our brother inside the, 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 the helicopter. Today our brother is walking with two feet. Hey, Pupé, you abandoned Jesus to beg public funds. Shame on you. Yes. Shame on you. Very big shame. After insulting me because I told Nigeria pastors, so stop fake miracle. Do you know, everybody? Do you know that a lot of now you need people's fund? Everybody, the same way you are begging now, bending neck is the same way more than 30,000 people are under my issue. Begging me. Begging me. Which I know if I did not attend to them, that they would die. Just like this, your case. If you didn't attend to it now, to do the need, um, oh God. <laughs> I'm telling you now, if you did not do, just buckle up right now. Um, your name will be sorry. I'm telling you the fact. Now you don't know that Jesus exists. So you have abandoned the book of Genesis to Revelation. Now you need man, man's donation. You need man's donation. You need money to go apply facilities made in China that is unbeliever. So you need calula made in China to be fixed on your vein. You need the anesthetic to inject you before surgery. You need surgeons. Which the, what is what is what they study in the school, not from the Bible. What man taught man? What man learned from man? You need it. So you need the power of man, no more Jesus. Shame on you. Shame on you, Christians. All of you ranting in adoration. Pentecostals, Catholic and Anglican Church, Zion, Mumu Zion followers, criminals. Very soon sickness will hit you. Everybody, you are supporting Nigeria pastors to be starving our people for 100 days. In the name of fast and prayer, so that Jesus will cure their sickness. Everywhere, why can't you key into 100 days of Zion to be healed? Because you say, I'm insulting Nigeria, man of God. Why you guys are man of criminals, man of bandits, man of terrorists, man of kidnappers, man of killers. You guys want me to join your criminal occultic kingdom? The occultic power kingdom we are hearing in Nigeria, the churches are the occultic kingdom. There is no other secret court in Nigeria except churches where people are being murdered in daily but silently. And when they kill you, before they come to bury you, they will collect money from you and your family. Do you know how many newborn babies dying under my NG waiting for their turn? Baby that is being born with, without anus. Now, if the surgery is not done within three weeks, if the baby does not have where they will, the baby will pass feces, within three weeks, the baby will die. Do you know how many cases I am seeing every day? I came out to tell my people that Jesus is a bandit, a criminal, made by the pretend to kill our people. That is not healing anybody. When I take somebody to the hospital, I will heal the person. We do process made to heal everyone in China, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, in England, in Rome. 
Pope was just coming out from hospital. But here you do adoration, you say olive oil to heal the sick. But you need our money. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. So I know more Jesus. The same way Bubba is begging me and you not to save him is the same way we are the only people to save our land. British deceived us. Christianity is fraud. Jesus Christ is a criminal. The name of the ship being used to convey your forefather to England is called Jesus. God it is there. Those who murdered my forefathers, those who chained my mother, chained my daddy, chained the young men and women in my land, rape our women, cut the fingers of our young ladies, took pictures with them while they are, they are nakedness. They still came by 108 something years ago to give you heaven. Tell you that when you die, you go to heaven. England are the highest gold reserver in the world. But England does not have gold in their land. They steal it from Africa. <laughs> they stole the gold from Africa and they make you to close your eyes. Praying to unseen spirit. You, you shame, they shame you as a black man. Because you want to go to heaven. Hey, why are you begging for funds? No, you're supposed to beg and go to heaven now. You don't need to ask for help. You need to see Jesus, and you must only see Jesus when you die. Why are you seeking for our help? Why? Why? Why are you seeking for our assistance? Useless people, deceivers, preaching Bible that your father's name is not there. Do you know how many people you have killed in our land with your fake preaching? Do you know how many people you have told in our land that Jesus he led the they die silently? Do you know you have been? Useless entities. People I'm fighting to save. People I love with my from the deep of my heart. How many pastors in Nigeria is more vibrant than me? How many pastors in Nigeria is more intelligent than me? But I rejected that money they are making, those evil money they are making in order to save you. So that you face reality. So that you not die because of religious imagination. A dog in the United States of America, in England. Has an emergency ambulance well equipped with oxygen to save the life of dog. Now it becomes a cry for me as I to fight for the life of my own people. My own people. People that bear the same name with me. People that share the same language with me. People that share the same color with me. The only crime I committed is I'm telling you that if you get back to a baby tomorrow that have a hole in the heart, if you don't have money for proper surgery, that baby will die. No, Jesus healed any sickness. Everybody have the same people that Jesus make it a cripple to walk and they're blind to see. And they're deaf to talk. And we have been demanding it our communities where it came from. If any cripple walk in Anambra, Anambra State Broadcasting Service will carry the news through a force. True. If any cripple today walk in Enugu, Enugu State Broadcasting Service, they will carry the news. If any cripple walk in Ebony State, EBBC, Ebony State Broadcasting Service, they will carry the news. Criminals that want to spoil me, that want me to soil my hand in blood. I can never. I have saved 6,000 people in our, more than 6,000 lives in our land. Even those we took drug with the practical solution. Do you know how many fibroid women we have saved? People with goiter, people with thyroid, people with breast cancer, newborn babies. Why are the blacks so wicked? The only reason why you should join this movement of women and abuse is open it's for your life to be saved. For our own land. For our own land to be saved as well. Our land is decaying. No savior is coming from anywhere except me and you. Now, everybody knows that we are his savior. He's calling us. No more Jesus. Without me and you, everybody will die. Yo. Everybody will die without me and you. Please. If you have anything to support him, support him. Let's save him. Let his mumu continue. This is his account number. This is his account number. Let's support him. Save our Mumu brother. He's under the spell of Britain. He don't know what he's doing. His Mumu rate is abolished. He does support Nigerian criminal pastors using bloodproof car to protect their life. Suleiman put his, his beloved son in a bloodproof car, put his lovely wife in a bloodproof car, put his lovely daughter in a bloodproof car, put himself in a bloodproof car, and abandoned Mugus in ordinary car. And when uh, uh, hoodlums, kidnappers jammed them, all the people living in, in that, that was applied in ordinary car, all of them died. They were all shot to death. But bullets could not penetrate in Suleiman's car. Because it is common, because Suleiman depends on man to be saved. 
Man made it that car in China. Man made it in China to save man. It's an idea, it's a round table meeting. Let us produce a car that can save man. Even if the person is being shot, the bullet will not penetrate. Now, Suleiman, make money from you, Mugus, and use it to go and purchase protective car. <laughs> Mumu, Mumu, the Mumu, they go. Mumu, they go. Mumu, they go, they go, they go. Mumu, Christians. Africa, Mumu, they go, they go, they go. Mumu, they go. Africa, Mumu, they go, they go, they go. Mumu, Mumu, black race. Cleaners in Germany. Slavery is in United States. Slaves in Canada. Slaves is talking. Then, Mumu, don't use your common sense. Today, you live in a country whereby the only reason why there is no single poverty in their land is because of industries. But you come in a community where there is no industry. You are not fighting on how your government will give you industry. What you are fighting is how Jesus will come and remove poverty in a village that has zero factor. <laughs> you are listening to Nigeria criminal pastors and reverend father telling you that Jesus is coming to give you money. Receive it. Receive it. If those prayer works, China will never leave it for you. <laughs> if Holy Ghost prayer works, Japan will not leave it for you. British that gave you Bible. The first time they entered Japan, Japan collected one of the guns from them. And before the Britain came back again, Japan could be able to produce those guns, 16,000 pieces. The second time that Britain came there, they, they killed all of them inside the river. They did not allow, allow British to come into their land, including without their criminal activities Bible. You accept that Bible, reject that technology that our ancestors started with. Today you are, you are fooling yourself in Malaysia, fooling yourself in India. So you are proudly calling yourself a street boy, black morons, black monkeys. They don't want to reason. Thank you, my people of Omen and Abuja. So those who accepted truth shall be well with you. Our ancestors will continue to bless every one of you. And we must take this fight to any level to make sure that every single soul in our land is saved. Christianity will not continue to kill us. It they will never. The same thing that happened to TB Joshua. TB Joshua Church collapsed. Killed over 200 people. Mbaka has been doing fake miracle for long. Mbaka's church, they killed over 14 people there. Yeah, they call it stampede. In a Bubemon, so 18 people died. Jesus did not protect all of them. One of the church he collapsed in Asaba, killed even new the pregnant mothers. About how many thousand people? Christianity will kill you. Keep watching now. When the breast cancer will come, you go to say you will pray say, when the cancer will continue spreading and, and put you something here, you will not even have strength to shout Holy Ghost fire. You will shout Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you will not have the energy to handle Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, open and close. Now wait, you know, you go take clothes the phone way they watch me. They watch me with uh, in, in the screen phone. After watching me now, you go and urinate. Shit. That's the only thing you know how to do, black man. Eat and shit. Eat and shit and pray. When you eat, you can shit. You would close your eyes. Never. Never. We will never go back to this slavery. Jesus must go back to his family. Useless people. Our forefathers have been living billions of years. They have been dying, mechanizing, giving birth to us. Now, Jesus' uh, story came 181 years ago after he's living for 400 years. Now, he wants us to go to heaven. Eh? So, where did our forefathers go? That? Where did they go to? That place where our father go, that is where we want to go. We're going to take on heaven. If you want us to believe in heaven, show us a cripple. That Jesus had made to walk in Uboka, in Enugugu, in Agulusibu, in Adaba, in Obuche, in Okutu. Show me one in Robo, where I came from, in Abi, Ubenanjima. Show me one in Adan, in Opanda, Obata, Mbologu. Show me one. Ndi Kedyong, show me one. In Ufuma, in Abo, in Achina. No one in Inteja, no one in Okozo, no one in Agulele. He said, I should believe. Believe in what If you believe, you shall be healed. You have killed me, that's what my people want me to keep silent. Indeed, with my mother, Christianity, Buga, and more than Christianity have killed us more than Boko Haram. I'm a living witness. What sickness comes to you? If you don't follow the due process, meant or treat both Muslim and native doctor, you will die. You will die immediately. 
Wake up and face reality. All those your kids, go and check their kidneys. So know if there is any one of them having kidney stone. Before the kidney stone will destroy the kidney, maybe it will be at the time of final year in university. <laughs> Your name not sorry. All those your beloved one with kidney failure. If you don't have the money for kidney transplant, take him to any prayer house in Nigeria. The person must die. Once you stop dialysis, once you stop dialysis, the person dies. Africa, woke up. I love you. If you know how I love you, if you know what I have rejected because of you, if you know how the life of my people is like sparkling in my heart for us to have a better life more than every other nation, for you to live with your family. If you know how I love you, you will not believe me. I'm telling you, you will, you will take what I'm saying very serious. It will not need our support. No more Jesus support. No more Holy Ghost. Die by fire is no longer work. Die by fire is no longer work. Shame on you, Nigeria Christians. Mumu people, you starve yourself 100 years, inviting ulcer, stomach cancer. Nobody is anywhere tying your destiny. We don't have a system of government. The way we are surviving is not the way England are surviving. Germans, Rome, that gave us Bible are surviving. I said it and clear. Any God that will bless me today, I own my own car, my own shop, I own upstairs and downstairs, and the, our pregnant mothers will be hawking in the street with a baby in their womb. Any God that will give me money and permit pregnant mothers to be hawking in the street, let that God go to hell. I don't need it in my life. That God is a criminal. He's a wicked God. The God I know is Chubu Okeke, the creator of the universe, who only blesses a nation when he gave a nation resources. The people that the power has been into their hands to make the resources to circulate to every citizen are the government. So if the government are not doing the need for all the religious leaders need to do is to unite the masses together and fight the government to make the money circulate to every citizen. You can never survive without good governance. He are praying to you to, to pray. If Jesus, they give money, why must your pastor and reverend father demand money from you? Everything that the Catholic Church has to die in Galicia, Petcota, comes from your pocket. Both the churches, schools. You did not see anything wrong by having 50 churches in your village, but you have zero factory that will employ the youth, the graduates, if including the young graduates. And you want your village to become so blessed with the name of Jesus. Shame on you. Wake up, black Africans, and face reality. Your life is very important. Shame on you. Share the video. Let shame continue to catch all the Christians. Hey, woman, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. You need to buckle up. I said it again. If you love your life, continue doing video, calling all those your pastor come and assist you. This is his account number. Whosoever that can assist him, go ahead and assist him. Let's save our mumu brother. After saving him, man, let him continue the mumu. Or you come back. You must join us. Whether you like it or not. What reality hits you? You come back to your common sense. Love you all.